guys, what is up? It is Peace of Prestige, and today I'm here again playing Rollercoaster Tycoon World, and today we are going to get into the terraforming tool, which is down here, terrain deformation. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. As you can see, we have uh, four options to basically alter the terrain, which is raise, lower, flatten, and smooth. So let's start with raise, and as you can see, we have four different uh, type of brushes, and we can alter the brush strength, with holding shift and uh, rolling the mouse wheel. So basically, as you can see, it doesn't change anything for the size of the brush. And as you can see, when I zoom in, it becomes smaller. So in order to get your brush bigger, you have to zoom out. As you can see, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger until it's like this. And now if I click and drag, it will smoothly alter the terrain which is very nice if we get the square tool out and you can see it creates this kind of like a pyramid shape uh, which is pretty strange but now it actually does a wave but that's only because of the fact that uh, the curves are actually um, like this that's actually the normal shape but what happens is when it raises of course the cursor is actually on a, on a different part of the land uh, so it kind of goes one way so you get this weird wavy shape and what else do we have? We have this one, which creates these little bumps, which which can be very nice to create an uneven surface. Maybe if you want to recreate the moon or whatever. Um, some hilly terrain. It looks pretty cool. Or even the bottom of a river. You can actually do that like this when you zoom in. Uh, you can just kind of move it along like that and make a riverbed that looks kind of like water has flown there. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And we also have this one, which is very, very rough. With this, you can just roughen up your terrain. So let's say this is um, basically what we built. This little hill. You want to get a rougher? Basically, you you basically just click over it, raise or lower. You can actually lower it as well. Let's go ahead. And, um, we're gonna do that in a second. But as you can see, this actually creates kind of a rough pattern on the hill, which looks kind of realistic. It's pretty nice. All right, going uh, moving on to lower. Let's actually make sure it's it's becoming day soon. All right, there we go. It's day again. And as you can see with the lower tool, it's kind of the same. You just create this big dent in the world until you get to the uh, the maximum depth right there. Now you can also do squares and you can do this. That really creates a lunar surface, to be honest. Uh, and this, which just really roughens up the terrain. And going back to the hill, as you can see, this just roughens it up a little more. Kind of makes it look like it has been eroded a little bit. So that's pretty pretty nice, actually, if you look at this. Just gives this realistic feel to it. Now, let's say you want to flatten something, right? Basically, what you do is you click on the height of the ground that you want. And as you can see, it flattens it out. And it's just very nice. It, it kind of smooths it out. And the same with this. Only then it's just a square hard tool. But it's very nice. It's very nice. Um, these, I don't really know what these do right here. They're just not that handy in uh, doing terraforming with flattening tool or smoothing tool. So basically the smoothing tool, let's say you have this and you want it smooth. Basically what you do is you move over it and it becomes smooth. And also I'm uh, holding the left mouse button actually. Before you get confused. It just really smooths out, uh, smooths out the terrain. And now it looks really funky. As you can see, you can make some great planes with this, actually, um, that are kind of slightly hilly. So it's pretty nice. Now, moving on, the Terra Paint is going to be pretty cool. Now, we can only use the grass and the sand textures right now. And as you can see, the grass textures, if I'm correct, uh, let's see. Here we go. That's one. This is the other texture, and this is the darker texture. And they don't look anything like uh, they do here in the picture. But you can see there's a slight difference. And actually, the ground textures in this game are pretty good, as you can see. They look very realistic, to be honest. They look very nice. And, um, yeah, that's just that's basically the grass. And there's going to be multiple types of grass, and it's going to all work perfectly. So, I'm really happy about the terra paint right here. You can also make it um, the brush strength less. And it will be just a little um, smoother transitioning to a different type of ground, which is very nice. It blends in 
Moving on, we have the sand. And this sand kind of looks weird. But you can make a pretty nice beach with it. Let's just get this at max. Zoom out a little bit. And as you can see, this creates pretty nice beachy texture. Uh, it has some really good sand in there. Uh, but I hope there's going to be more types of sand. Uh, there's also mud and rocks, which, you c which we can't use right now. But that's basically the entire terra, pa uh, terra painting right there. You can uh, lower the brush strength to kind of make it a little darker. You can even lower it some more to make the real transition. Let's see. There we go. As you can see, it's very smooth. But that's basically uh, the entire terra painting. And if we lower some terrain right now, like right here, we can go ahead and get out the water tool. And the water tool is pretty strange. Now, as you can see, this has some some very weird uh, physics going on. Basically, what you do is you create this this lump of water, uh, which kind of fills up the pond. And also, there's just waves. As you can see right now, when I click this, you see. Yeah, let's just make this a little. Uh, when you actually uh, up the brush strength, as you can see, it really creates this wave that just fills up with water. And as you can see, when I hold it here, you can actually see the water recedes outwards. So there's actual physics. <coughs> Excuse me. There's actual physics going on with the water, which is pretty nice, to be honest. Uh, still, the water textures look really funky. Uh, it's not that that well done, to be honest. Uh, you can also get rid of the water like this. You can drain it, uh, like, like right here. But I think, you know, the, the water right now in this game is so weird. I don't know if they're going to be able to uh, implement some water rides in there. We'll have to, we, only, we can only lo uh, note it later, you know, when the, when the game actually gets out. We can see what they've done with, with it. So as you can see, it also takes a long time to fill up the pond sometimes. If I just hold this, it's going to take a while to fill up. And if you're making a C, that's just a really horrible tool, uh, tool to do it with. So we'll have to see what they do about that. But that's basically the entire Terra painting. Now we really freaked up this entire park. Um, but I feel like we learned something. You know, we, we actually um, saw every thing you can do with the Terra painting and uh, the terraforming and the water. And the thing is, in Rollercoaster Tycoon 3, the Terra painting was kind of limited. And um, well, except for text mod, of course, but that's a mod. Um, but also, what I really liked about the Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 terraforming is that I could actually raise square blocks and then later smooth it out, and that's not an option in this. Um, you can actually make square pieces like this, and then later smooth them out a little bit. But I mean, that just doesn't work that well, so it's going to be pretty hard to build the things that you normally would in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. But as you can see, this hill right here with a normal raise tool and a, um, a round brush it does work kind of and you can make a cool coaster that's kind of ground hugging and it's pretty cool so yeah i hope you guys learned something and let me know what you think about the game so far about the beta and i'll see you guys in the next episode in which we actually go and build some coasters finally all right so i'll see you then and until then peace from pieces of prestige